Hello Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Cynthia Falca and I'm going to be doing your general reading for the coming week. And like with any type of general reading, it's everything may not resonate with you, then that is perfectly okay, that is perfectly normal. I ask you to rely on your intuition. Uh, some, some of these cards and what I speak on, I maybe speak on like a relationship of some sort, but in your life it may be pertaining to your work life situation, right? So it isn't very important for you to rely on your intuition and to correlate the messages and correlate the message material to see how it's fitting to you in specific, right? So let's just get started with your reading, Pisces. I'm really excited for this actually. So for your first row, I pulled three rows for you, Pisces. I have for your first row, we have, let's see here, we have the Four of Discs, so you're planning something, you're already sure of it, Four of Discs, the Ten of Swords, mm, you're sure of something, but I don't know if it's a good thing, uh, and then we have Two of Swords, so yeah, there's almost as if like a, I'm definitely going to be pulling some clarifiers, but I feel like you're sure on someone's motives. Right, you and I don't know if this is necessarily in a bad way, right? You can take everything in Necronomicon and see it in like a negative light because Necronomicon is just very interesting in that way. So let's get some clarifiers and to see how this is reacting and how this is pertaining in your life. So we have the Page of Coins, the Two of Wands, and the Four of wands so hmm. you're sure on page of coins with the page of coins this is telling me giving me more emphasis in terms of deals this week that's what this is telling me this is a, going to be a good week for deals and i say this because it's we have the four of wands which is a celebratory card some people this is going to be the week for you to shoot your shot right pisces this is if you're interested in someone this is like the kind of spread so far what i'm getting is that this is going to be your week to really let your feelings be known right this is definitely like the, the time for you to definitely take those shots in your life that you normally wouldn't take that could really change your life because i feel like if you do take some of these chances and really bet on yourself i feel like your life could really start changing for the better in a drastic positive way after this week it's just a matter of you vocalizing it in the first place though pisces you have to take a chance but maybe you don't want to put your head on the cutting block right you don't want to put yourself out there you don't want to stick out stick your neck out there and on the chance of getting rejected right yeah five of swords you're afraid of people laughing at you you're afraid of how you're going to be perceived so you don't take your shots ever maybe this has been like a theme for you pisces i don't know you'll know obviously in your life if you've been going through the same patterns but that's why i heard the world card in reverse yeah you're definitely uh pisces this is like a this is your week to start taking action that's what I'm getting. This is your week to start taking action and to really set your intention. Let your intention be clear and be known to, the, to even the universe because it's like, yeah, knight of coins. Like the universe and your spirit guides, your ancestors and stuff don't know what to provide to you, Pisces, if you don't make it known, if you don't have like your vision board, if you don't speak your intentions, if you don't act on your... Um, intentions right you can have all the intentions in the world but if you never act on it then how is spirit supposed to know that you actually want it because you're not your actions say otherwise right so let's go into your second row queen of disc death and then the world so yeah this is you this is definitely going to be a week of tra like transformation this is definitely a week for you to <laughs> yeah ten of swords this is your week of bearing it all and really owning yourself right with this with the queen of discs i feel like this is you kind of realizing your own potential in a way you're bearing all your wounds your past wounds and being like this is who i am and then embracing it and really allowing it to elevate you rather than feeling victimized by it rather than feeling trapped by it that's why we have the the I was called out for this earlier this week. I called this the de uh, death card, but this is the devil card. The devil card. This is more, this changes up the reading in the sense that this is to me like yeah. When you, when I think of the devil card, I think of someone who used to have bad habits, right? 
you weren't being balanced properly cancer six of coins six of coins yeah there was an, there was an imbalance of some sort and that's why it's like attached to the death card maybe there hasn't been like any intention set in a while just because you've just been going through life right now recently and you just haven't thought of anything or maybe you haven't maybe you have definitely been thinking cancer but maybe you before these swords were like trapping you and limiting you from before that's what i'm getting and so yeah like with the six of no not the six yeah no with the six of cups as well this is telling me that you are searching for more fulfillment and it's paired with the world card so let's pull some more clarifiers as well like you're looking for fulfillment but you necessarily haven't your actions haven't shown that you've been looking for that fulfillment. Yeah, the lover's card and the hank band together. Hello, guys, this week, Pisces, I cannot kid you enough. You cannot have a better reading for putting yourself out there emotionally, for putting yourself out there for business. This is definitely your week, Pisces. Like, in terms of, like, manifesting, like, your world, your world is your oyster right now. Whatever you want, you need to set the intention for it right now and to really start trying to manifest it this week, Pisces, and really start trying to create it. Set your intentions and commit to it. Start taking action towards it, but come from it, come from, it from a balanced place. Don't come at it from a place of lacking. Don't come at it from a place of feeling as if um, something or someone needs to complete you or an, you need to change your environment to in such a way. So that's the only way that you'll be successful. You need to get out of that mindset, Pisces. Pisces, you need to be the one to take action this week. I know some people don't want to hear it this week and that they aren't going to have things, certain things just come to them. But truly, Pisces, this is like, like this is the kind of week that I would say like you would even like get some lottery tickets as well. Like if I had this kind of spread, I, I would go and buy some lottery tickets just because it just is like such a good week. Like this is such a Midas touch week for you. I feel where it's like anything you touch right now, it's gonna work out. Uh, okay, so we have uh, for a little bit more clarifiers for your second row. We have the 10 of wands and then the eight of wands and then the six of wands. Wow, okay. So this is definitely like a taking on like a big project of some sort. Taking on a big project of some sort or maybe letting go of a bunch of mini projects that you've been having cancer. Maybe that's why you haven't really been accomplishing too much is because you've been trying to work on too many different things or maybe you've been trying to invest your all your time into too many different people or you're like, you think of too many different ways that you want to do something. Um, I just feel like there's like, you're starting putting a lot on your plate without really um, having a focus on one specific thing and you need to take that leadership role and to commit to one thing. Because that's the thing, maybe your actions every single day like, I feel, yeah, like, it's almost as if spirit just doesn't know what to give you because you're working on so many different things at once. You're spreading your energy too thin. So it's like you're manifesting, but you're manifesting at a very slow pace just because it's like you're spreading yourself too thin. You're spreading your energy out and what you're investing in too far out, you know? You have to just start putting a little bit more focus, start balancing it out a little bit more. Have the six of disc, the six of swords, and the seven of cups. And a clarifier that flew out with the justice card as well. Let's see. Well, the other card that flew out was the Ace of Wands. So yeah, this is a time for you to take action. And you know it. You already kind of know what it is that you need to put your focus on. But you need to start taking action on it. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm like, I feel it's almost as if, and like with the Justice card, the Justice card is the representation of um, the Libra as well. So Libra also represents the balance. So it's like you need to come from a balanced place. And then once you come from that balanced place, you need to start taking action, right? Six of Swords is even like a, a deal of some sort. Um, seven of Cups, like you're choosing which cups to fill. Like this entire week for you, Pisces, this is entire week, you're making the decision on where you want your greatness to happen. You're making the choice this week, Pisces, on like what you want to be fulfilling, what you want to um, start blooming, really, this week, Pisces. This is like, I can't stress it enough for you this week that you need to truly decide what it is that you want and then commit to it. Commit to it and start taking action towards it. 
<clears throat> let's see what moon card that we got. Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. The Roadrunner, keep your sense of humor, don't take things too seriously, which is very similar to like the Ten of Swords energy, right? You're just coming to terms with things. You're coming to terms with things in your past, coming to terms with things that's happened. Maybe even coming to terms with your current situation right now, Pisces, or yeah, Pisces. You're like, hey, this is what I'm dealing with. Um, it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on other people. Yeah, maybe you're just realizing, you're like, hey, like, you need to start taking care of yourself. Other people aren't going to take care of you for you. Does it suck to deal with at first? Yeah, but it's kind of like um, being pushed out of the nest and learning how to fly. Affirmations. I feel like this is definitely going to be an affirming reading for a lot of people. Definitely for you this week, what I'm going to suggest is like look back into this reading and see what if there's any like small signs. Maybe if like a roadrunner is like your spirit animal or something like that. Like very small signs or like a cat or something. I feel like there are like some affirmations left in this reading. Um, key things that will like call the very specific people for very specific things or particular things. So that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I really do hope this was helpful and gives you a sense of direction. I love you. I keep calling you Cancer. I apologize. I, this is all that I have for you, Pisces. I kept calling Cancer Scorpio as well. And I feel... Uh. <laughs> but I love you so much and I can't wait to connect with you soon. Bye.